Next up, top secret. Oh, oh wow. Uh, All right, top secret. This one's a little weird, so. Swear to stick it up if you swear to listen or we're still so young. Desperate for attention, I aim to be. Trade, you can have the small one if you want. What is this? This is medium. I didn't realize. Same you... thing? Yes, yeah, same thing. It's black. Nine specific about his cream. Press checks. Press checks. Yes. Greens, glow, gamer. Those will all be like new. So. They yeah, I just, uh, Marissa, we talk, I talk about this with Loki. Anytime it's a completely new project, let's make sure we just spend like a 30 second huddle, especially like on the doming or just whatever, just to make sure we're all on the same page. I think a lot of the stress that's placed on kind of our go to market and product launch strategy, especially looking at 2017, 2018, um, it's kind of the double edged sword of the licenses, right? We're kind of waiting by the phone for them to approve stuff. And then as soon as we approve, they approve it, it's like a mad dash, go, 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 let's get it to market because it's a big deal. If we rock this meeting, if we have the mock-ups and the flavors and everything goes as we want it to, the goal of that will be basically to have like everything that we could ever want done for pretty much the rest of the year, maybe beyond that. And then it kind of becomes a discussion internally and with GNC of what we want to launch and when. That's the goal, is if we kill this meeting, no stress, it's all on our court this year. Perfect segue, man. Protein BOGO. This week, all three uh, all three sites, Australia, Europe, US, all protein, whey, and vegan this year, which is exciting. And all profits from the AU site for this promo will uh, will go to the wildlife in Australia. That's cool, we were able to you know, huddle and turn this promotion around pretty quickly. We also got the apparel in, the Australia support tees. Open it up. Uh, open it up. Open it up. Sure. Sure. Cross it off. So we got like a firefighter inspired um, t-shirt and apparel drop this, this month. So these will drop Thursday. For Australia specifically, I think we're actually going to reserve these for Australia Day on Sunday. That's it from a launch perspective this week. See game review. And before I forget, this is for you. Uh, we might be able we might be able to do a collab with those guys in right. China. I mean, it's an interesting flavor. It's like a creamy, very lightly flavored tootsie roll. Here are some concepts for the basics packaging. This, these are two different. Open your hand. <laughs> that was weird. That one. Will they be completely clear? Well, no, they're gonna be frosted. These are just for size only. And then same thing here. You know, what I will say is this, we can't snap a scoop in if it's this small. It's just gonna have to be dropped in. There's no, it wouldn't even have to flex. Yeah. And I think this is basically the same diameter as burn. You can verify, but just a little bit shorter. We could do the snap scoop there. So, there you go. This is a nice little bottle. And last but not least. The most important thing? The most important part. Yeah. Sujo. I have a no Sujo mug. Oh, it's all oh. the <laughs> Mia, give me a. Can't see the line. There you go. What can I Pick do? your poison. Pick your poison. Mama Guzman's. That is. Let's nice. spoil the surprise. Did you just spoil that on the channel? <laughs> Our first uh, potential athlete collab on Ghostway. No, and it's not even with our athletes. It's with his no, mom. You know I'm all about the moms. I'm collab with your mom for a while now. Damn. <laughs> Hold it. On the nose. Hold it. Cheers. Cheers. Boys. It's like a, almost like a crust. Yeah. I like the crispy little corners in the pan. Ricky, what'd you think? I think it's great. Well, we gotta go sample we the real thing. Yeah. We actually have to taste it. We, we gotta go taste the real thing. Mama Guzman, I'm on my way. What's up next? God, I think they're, they're proven. Did you go? <laughs> Look at that. Dude, Hold it in there. Cheers to a marshmallow cereal milk that actually has marshmallows in it. This one. 
is nice. Nice. I think it's a hair more sweetness in the base. What about like little colored ghost marshmallows? Custom ghost marshmallows. See? Yeah, oh yeah. Next up, top secret. Two versions. Oh, boy. oh wow. Uh, All right, top secret. This one's a little <laughs> weird, so. There's not inclusions in this, is there? <laughs> I'm not drinking it if there's a mm -hmm. clue. I'm trying to figure out if I just like didn't know what this was, if I'd be like, hmm, I'm not sure. Dude, there's inclusions in mine. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Look at the size of those chunks. So this makes me think Wilkie's messing with me. Is there a GBB in here? Nope. Did you give me GBB? Yeah, by mistake. It was a mistake. Well, it was actually, we knew. We knew. <laughs> this one's got a little more of like a savory, uh, savory note. It's kind of giving a little hint, I guess. A lot of things are savory, Dan. It's not really a hint. To close this, an upcoming holiday, there may be a new flavor out. It may be weird. It may be a joke. We also might drop it. Stay tuned. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about this shirt you have on here, Dan? Pretty sick. Yeah, 3M on the sleeves. Inspired by the uh, fire service kits in Australia. Shout out Josh. He uh, sent me a pic of kind of his kit, and I was like, dude, we got it. You know, 100% of the proceeds, not just the profits, 100% of the proceeds. Sales of this shirt dropping tomorrow go uh, straight to the uh, New South Wales Fire Service. All of the profits from the Aussie website for the entire month of January, inclusive of the BOGO this weekend, are going to the Wildlife um, Conservancy. I think that was kind of our way of giving back to the firefighters and also my understanding is that fund is also going to support some of the families and to give back on that hand and then also on the, uh, on the wildlife side of it too has been cool. I think we wanted to kind of do both. And it was the best way we came up with, so. It's been super cool to see so many different like companies and brands from all over the world, people from all over the world kind of giving and supporting um, the uh, really horrible situation down in Australia. I think for us, with so many of our friends and family, like Stafford Brothers, Brooke Evers, all the guys at F45, so, so many ties to Australia, nutrition systems, Massive Joes, we had to do something. It's very close to home for ghosts. So this uh, t-shirt pack drops tomorrow. Six T, but also for a good cost. So sick. Let's go. Ocean water, very blue ocean water. Now we got some blue. Describe ocean water for those who don't know. It is a very refreshing coconut lime flavor. It's not overly sweet. It almost tastes like to me, like a coconut Sprite, yeah. but not as sweet. Yeah. It's a great flavor. Nailed the color. That one's finally coming. Great tasting. Why do you why do you raise the level this time? Morgan. I level up every single time. Oh boy. Okay. What next? What about this Skin. one? This is a very mysterious tasting. <laughs> why are you shaking your hips? You did that, that to me on this flavor last time. Did you watch the video? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch the last episode yet because I felt like fans out there ruined it. I was in Shanghai and everyone is messaging me saying, be nice to Ryan. And I was like, what? What are you like? What are you talking about? They go, oh, like he lost his wallet. You gotta be nice to him. I'm like, well, you just ruined the episode for me. Shake off, Wilkie versus Ricky. Here this corner at five foot five and 106 <laughs> pounds. Five, seven, and three quarters. <laughs> it's really weird. Comment below if you, uh, if you think the, uh, you the one-handed Wilkie shake or the two-handed full body or C. Yeah, none, none of, of those. <laughs>